and, and get away from that spirit. You know? Because you're getting a warning now. Through the apostles and brothers, you're getting a warning now through the spirit, man. It's up to you if you're going to either humble down or if you're going to continue to harden your neck. And we know what the scriptures say about someone who constantly harden their neck yep. when they're being reproved. Shall certainly be destroyed and that without remedy. Right? That's saying. Mm -hmm. that, back in the Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, I'm in verse 5 again, it says, For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit yep. and remove That's from... That's like it. Yep. Deceit. Meaning you coming in a, in that wrong spirit. Yep. Like you, you might think that you, you, you trying to act like you coming in peace, but you got some type of scheme or, or, yep. or some type of uh, inward malice. Yep. You know, basically being like a damn snake. Yep. And that's yep. how he's moving. He, just like Vocab. Vocab yep. try to act like he's, he play, he, he cosplay as this yep. friendly Christian guy yep. who wants salvation for everybody. Yeah. But you know this nigga clearly. Gosh, he's a, he, yeah. he also, but he's a damn demon. He'd be so happy if all he's of really uh, he's really a small like, hat cosplaying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's that's the really way, what he the is. Conniving way he tries to slither yeah. in there. And then he's trying to use the urban aspect of it. Yeah. That's why they call it urban apologist. Yep. You know, so I'm gonna make it seem as if my 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 uh, company is people of color like you. So I'm gonna spit these trash ass weak ass freestyles yeah. to make you appeal to me. And that's exactly what a, a, a serpent do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. find make you find a way to get you closer to me. So you can feel comfortable. When all which we should through discernment understand only thing the only reason all of us are connected is the word. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. The understanding of the word. The rest of it, because it's that piece of your how shy spirit that is in all of us is what really connects us of the elect. They all have us a piece of it. Yeah, right? And that's what connects us. Not not because we play ball together or because we both like cars or, or whatever. You know what I mean? Now, now, I'm because I'm still elaborating on that part where it yeah. says they will flee deceit. deceit, right? Yep. The wicked scribes and Pharisees, yep. they was coming up to Yahweh Shai like yep. they were being sincere. Mm -hmm. But you could see that they were, the Lord saw that they were deceitful. Yeah. Yeah. And he would call them a hypocrite. Uh, get get uh, Matthew 22. Yeah. I think it's like around like the 14th. <laughs> so they had, they, they come there with loaded questions. Yeah. yeah. Like, okay. If he yeah. say this, we are gonna say this. Right. So ask the, we gonna ask the question this way to see what he's gonna say. Yeah. Yeah. Matthew 22. So, so on the Sabbath, if you were to, you know what I mean? Like, that's why Hassan was like, "Hey, brothers, y'all might think I'm being weird, but I'm not being weird, brother." Yeah. No, you. If you gotta say it, nigga, you yeah. can't. To tell it, to tell it, make sure that's not that energy's not. No, you being weird, bro. Yeah. You, you, you came up to them brothers with an agenda, and the brothers they saw it from the get go. Matthew uh, twenty-two and like fifteen. Uh, Matthew twenty-two and fifteen. Then went the Pharisees and took counsel how they might entangle him in his talk, <laughs> and right. they yeah. they're going to try to twist his words and get him to answer a question in a certain way that they can be like, okay, mm -hmm. got him. And so now we can accuse him. Oh, we got something to accuse him of. Oh, he's teaching this. He said he's the son of God. He's healing on the Sabbath. Yep. <laughs> healing on the Sabbath. Breaking the law. Yep. And they sent out unto him their disciples with the Herodians saying, Master, we know that thou so now, art... So they got... <laughs> yep. They would gather just... All type of unbelievers, mm -hmm. dudes who followed uh, who was under Herod. Yep. Yeah. That that devil. Yep. Go ahead, master. We know that thou art true. So now they trying to act respectful, yeah. master. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. Elder, <laughs> elder. I can see them. I can see Isaiah going to apostle. Yeah. Apostle Gabar. Apostle. Elder. Apostle. <laughs> you know. We know that thou art true and teachest the way of the most high and true. Yeah, we know that you got, we know that y'all, we learned the truth from y'all, right? We know that y'all got uh, uh, the truth. Go ahead. Neither carest thou for any man, for thou regardest not the person of men. Yeah, meaning they knew that the Lord was a, he wasn't a partial. He didn't show no favoritism or respect of persons. Mm -hmm. He taught it the way it's supposed to be taught. Right, like you were saying, uh, the way that they was asking the question, you already revealing yourself right there because it's a lingering but in the background. Well, 
Tell and us. And the Lord is, he's reading it. He's bro. reading their spirit the whole time that they coming with this. Yeah. He probably even saw it when they was even in their council before they even came up to him. Okay. Okay. Like I already know, I already know these niggas is plotting. I already know what they finna come in action. Yeah. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna hear what they gotta say. Tell them they play so out. They coming with that bullshit, trying to act like they fake humble. Niggas. Niggas, bro. Yeah. You seeing it? You seeing it in real time today? <laughs> God. We back in the action of apostles again. Kind. So, go ahead. Tell us, therefore, what thinkest thou? Is it lawful to give tribute unto Caesar or not? Now they being an asshole right here. Because when you when you look at the uh, the tribute uh, penny, yeah. when you actually look up the history on it, when you read what's inscribed on that 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 uh, penny, it it, it it literally says in Latin. Matter of fact, hold up. Let me let me let me, uh, let me pull it up real quick. And this is something that y'all brothers can you know look up and research just to get the the historical aspect of it. Bro, look the word up in trap. That's where that word mm -hmm. entanglement is. Well, kind of entanglement in the world. Yeah, kind of. Interchangeable. And knowing these so words. So this is so this is the penny, right? Mm -hmm. Knowing these words and how they connect, you know, especially these. So this is the penny, the denarius. Yeah, come. That was the currency of the Roman Empire at the time. It's hard to see, bro, in the it's camera. Hard to see it? Yeah. Okay, that one, I got it right there. It's lucky. Yeah, get, can't really get on this one. It's all good. Cut, cut. All right, so if you go into the actual history, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, right there. Now, it says, uh, let me, let me, let me uh, go down. And it says right here, it says the Greek text used the word denarian, right? Mm -hmm. And it is usually thought by scholars that coin was a Roman denarius with the head of Tiberius, Tiberius Caesar. It is this coin that is sold and collected as a tribute penny. And the gospel story is an important factor in making this coin attractive to collectors. The inscription reads, Tiberius Caesar, divine Augustus, uh, Flavius Augustus which means Caesar Augustus Tiberius, son of the divine Augustus, claiming that after death, Augustus had became a god, right? So in other words, this, the, the, on the, on the, what's inscribed on this particular penny is implying that Augustus right. is, is basically a god. So if you're given that penny to, to pay your taxes, then it's like you're paying homage to yeah. a god. So they want to try to trap him up to be like, so is he going to endorse paying yeah. taxes? Yeah. In other words, is he going to yeah. endorse yeah. that he's a god? Right. That, that, Augustus that, that, a that Augustus god. is a god to be serving? Yep. <laughs> so this is why Yahweh Shai came back with, with a quick, easy, hey. cold cut. Yep. I hate to say a quick cut. and easy answer that, 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 that cut him. Yep. Get that. Tell us, therefore, As we know the scriptures say there shall be no other gods before me. Yep. And they were trying to get him to say something incriminating. Yep. Go ahead. Now, read it. I start from 17. Go ahead. Tell us, therefore, what thing is thou? Is it lawful to give tribute unto Caesar or not? You see, they just like they, they call it tribute. They're not saying necessarily taxes, but they call it tribute. Yeah. Like you're tribute, you're giving tribute unto the god by, by giving that coin out. Right. But Yahweh Shai perceived their wickedness and said, Why tempt ye me, ye hypocrites? <laughs> so he saw their wickedness and called them out on it. You know? He called them out, man. You you hypocrites. Right? He knew that they had an agenda. Go ahead. Show me the tribute money, and they brought unto him a penny. And he said unto them, who is this image and subscription? Uh, subscription. <laughs> yeah. right. They said unto him, Caesar's. Can I, can I just elaborate? When you think of the mindset of, like, who is this? Who's this on there? Like, yeah. he don't know. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's not like he's honoring him, because I know, we all know this is the almighty Caesar of justice. Right. Now, he was like, who is that on there? Go ahead. That would be like somebody saying, so, what's, 
What God do you trust? Right. Let me show you this this dollar right here. It says in God we trust, right? But well, whose face is on there? So what are you saying? What are you trying to get me to say? Right. You saying that I I, I trust him? George Washington? You know, Franklin? Come on, man. Go ahead. Then say unto him, Caesar's. We got to pay taxes in this society. Yeah. You pay him in, in the money that he that he takes. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have no control over that. Yeah. We don't believe in the Federal Reserve note, but that's what we got to use right now. Because yeah. that's what he that's what he accepts as the form of payment. Yeah. It's wicked. But what could we do? Right. Then saith unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and unto the Most High the things that are the Most High. The thing that made me think of was Matthew 6. Uh, seek ye the treasures of, uh, seek not the treasures upon earth, where moth and rust do corrupt, but seek ye the treasures in heaven, where moth nor rust do corrupt. Because on the earth, the earthly stuff is what the earth, the, the people of the earth accept. But things in heaven is what the heavenly father accepts. Right. So it kind of, when you think of the mind state, it, it still uh, uh, ties in the same way. Yeah. And that was a that was a masterful answer yep. answer to, to, that, to that wicked, loaded question. Yep. Give to Caesar what is Caesar's, because we're, we're, we're in captivity, yep. but give to the most high what belongs to the most high. Right. Simple. Simple. Yep. And that was, it, it, and I showed you the, 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 how simple they were, man. So when you see these guys like this side and, and, and the deacon and they trying to roll up and ask these different questions, they're rolling in that same spirit, man. Yeah, Sakari wouldn't believe in that. Paying taxes. Yeah, they didn't believe in taxes, man, paying taxes. That's what led to the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the those wars. All right? Those revolts was because they refused to... to Submit to the powers that be, mm -hmm. which is what was uh, Apostle Paul was warning the church: don't resist the, uh, the the powers because they're ordained at the Most High. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Romans, uh, we're not 13. in the, we're not in our kingdom right now. We're not sovereign right now. The message that the Sakari didn't take. Right, which which <laughs> led to what happened. Yeah. You know, when they heard these words, they marveled and left him and went their way. Yeah, they could. They had no rebuttal. They couldn't. They couldn't find nothing to accuse them with. But they kept doing this though. Yeah. Next, gonna the next going. one. They're gonna do it again. Now hold, hold that real quick. Yeah. Give me a uh, Jeremiah nine, uh, nine and eight, and also somebody get Psalms uh, twelve and two. Cause I'm still elaborating on that, yeah, where it says uh, it will plead deceit. Yep. Basically showing you how to discern when something's coming in disingenuous. Yeah. The spirit ain't gonna work with them no matter what kind of wonderful answer you give them. Yep. It's not for them. Jeremiah 9 and 8. Yep. It's uh, Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 8. It says, Their tongue is as an arrow shot out. To speak it deceit. Yep. One speak it decently to his neighbor. Trying to come in peace. Yep. Right? I know that you're a. Uh, 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 <laughs> Like, we, like what they just did with Yahweh shot. Master. master. Yeah. You know, we know that you're a man that's, you know, you teach you a man of truth. You know, you you, you, you show no partiality. You have no respect of persons. But let, me, let, but let me ask you this though. Yeah. What? Right? Bro. <laughs> but what you think about this though, right? So that's what, read that, uh, finish that. Says, their tongues, is as an arrow shot out. Uh-huh. It speaketh deceit. Yep. One speaketh peaceably to his neighbor with uh -huh. his mouth. With his mouth. Okay. But in heart he layeth his his weight. But in, in but in what? But in the but in heart in his mind he layeth his weight. He's laying he's, he's laying basically trying to lay trap for you. I was gonna wonder what that word in another what it said in another translation. You can go to another translation to see what it says. You wanna go to the, uh, the blue, NLT or this is an ancient term. Ancient terms. 
We, we try to make understanding of it. But this is, oh, wow, this, this one's heavy, yeah. 